You know what I miss most about the 60s? You know, like John Kennedy, when he was probably the youngest president we had, it was refreshing to see someone so young and, and a lot going on, you know, uh, in the colleges and everything. And uh, he seemed to be speaking to us, you know, and Johnson got in there, it was kind of radical, you know, to me, you know, with the war in Vietnam uh, raging the way it did. And, and, and being in high school, it was, uh, my goodness, I mean, I, I remember Vietnam as early as 62, you know, and it was still, you know, 65, 66, still going on. And I, I, I saw some of the casualties and uh, some kids I know had quit school so they could go into the service and uh, a lot of them didn't quite come back okay, you know. And so it wasn't anything to look forward to. And when I got my uh, draft card, of course, I was not happy about that. And so, uh, yeah, the political part of the 60s was crazy. And getting Nixon in there didn't quite help things. I mean, I was, of course, wanted uh, Robert Kennedy in there. That was a breath of fresh air for me. Uh, wanted them in there real bad. But, you know, things happen. I mean, he was assassinated like uh, John was, Robert was, and, and then there was Martin Luther King, and he was a breath of fresh air. Uh, got drafted in 69. The Army wasn't happy about that. And as things turned out, uh, I did not go to Vietnam. Uh, I got out on, you know, a medical leave. Got looking over me. And uh, came out very angry still. Nixon was still in and just, uh, you know, politics was not speaking to me. The 70s didn't look all that ho hopeful. You had uh, the killings in Ohio State in the, in the campus, you know, it was, uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. It really was. You know, you had the, and you had the, Charles Matson slains, you know, and, and you wonder, what's this world coming to?